Stop the presses, everyone. Holy crap. We have release date and more information on the new Pokemon Snap. Oh my gosh, I'm actually really, really hyped for this game. I love Pokemon Snap. Back on the day on the N64, played hundreds of hours of that game, believe it or not. If you even want to call it a game, I feel like it's a game. And apparently, uh, Nintendo and the Pokemon Company do as well because they are charging AAA prices for it. It will be $59.99 in the U.S. I'm not sure what it's going to be in your local territories. But yeah, it's a full-priced game. I'm okay with that, but we got a new trailer, as you're seeing right now, and uh, yeah, that trailer is pretty freaking epic. In fact, is it too early to say this game already, just from a visual standpoint, looks significantly better than Sword and Shield? I'm not wrong on that, am I? Like, I wish they would have went this direction with Sword and Shield. That being said, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch, an Xbox Series X, or a PlayStation 5. Uh, for details on how to enter, head down to the description or into the comments. Uh, there will be a pinned comment for that. All right, let's get back into this. Uh, the game is going to be $59.99, as I said. And I'll put some pre-order links down in the description as they pop up because it's supposed to be available to pre-order today. I'm not sure if the orders are up yet, but if they are, I'll have links down for you guys for convenience sake. Uh, it's going to be 6.8 gigabytes in size, so that's good to know if you're buying it. Digitally, uh, I have a like a 512 uh, card in my Switch, so that's uh, not going to be a problem for me. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's move into some screenshots for this bad boy because a whole bunch of official screenshots were released for this as well, not just the trailer. Uh, it, it releases on April 30th. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. You probably saw it from the trailer already. Uh, April 30th is a really, really good date to me. This obviously shows a clear path for what Nintendo has planned right now. So in February, obviously, we have Super Mario 3D World uh, plus Bowser's Fury. Uh, this month, you can argue, I think, Hitman, but that's Nintendo's not involved with that one. Uh, and then in March, we have Monster Hunter Rise. That's a Switch exclusive. Uh, and then, obviously, we get to April, and now we have Pokemon S -s 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 snap new pokemon snap to be specific so i'm really really hyped about this uh i'm not sure quite what it is about pokemon snap that has always stood out to me but it always has stood out to me maybe it's just because it's a very simplistic game the point of it is to just take really cool pictures of pokemon in nature and this is kind of like when you go on real life nature walks as a photographer and you're getting beautiful shots, not just of nature, but of any animals or bugs that you might run into uh, to create a more artistic approach to the real world. And I feel like that's maybe the appeal of Pokemon Snap, is that it's an artistic take on what many of us feel could be a living and breathing world in an alternate reality. No, Pokemon World doesn't actually exist, but the point is that it's a world that's full of all of these monsters, all of these animals, basically, and we want to just capture the beauty of them uh, in their natural habitats, or even interacting with us in some way. And having a game built around that, I think, is great. Now, there's always, obviously, um, a purpose to it. There's, like, a little quest and, and and goals and all that. And I'm sure that'll be present in this game as well. We didn't get to see that here. We got to see, like, what looks like, you know, a very beginning cutscene or whatever. We didn't get to actually see uh, what's going to be the driving force. Is this going to be a park we're going through? Multiple locations. We saw a desert location. Obviously, water, forest, all that jazz. There's going to be a ton of locations. Uh, we saw a Pokemon fighting uh, each other in the natural habitat. Uh, obviously, we saw a, a massive legendary towards the end like i honestly i feel like pokemon snap is just a nice relaxing game in fact i could argue pokemon snap would have been the perfect game a new pokemon snap as it's called uh in 2020 just just like you had animal crossing pokemon snap just feels like a, a a nice reprieve as you're stuck at home being able to visit another world and take in the beauty of it all i think would have been perfect and technically we're still in a pandemic and many of us are still homebound for most of the time so it still might be coming out at a pretty good time i think pokemon new pokemon snap's gonna sell well i'm not sure if we're talking you know let's go numbers where it hits 10 11 million in sales but i do think it's going to sell north of 5 million potentially get close to that 10 million mark maybe i'm massively underselling it because everything that releases on switch right now just becomes a big seller if it's an exclusive and 
this is an exclusive. Obviously, that gives Nintendo a really so strong start to their year with 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, Monster Hunter Rise, and then po new Pokemon Snap. We now can kind of see the roadmap for Nintendo. The disappointing part of this announcement is it also does kind of tell us that maybe that rumor about a Direct this month isn't happening or it still could be, just for different reasons. It could be an individual game direct. Or this also gives Nintendo the ability to literally announce nothing until summer. That's one thing I am a little worried about with this announcement today, dropping on Twitter and YouTube and all that jazz, is that, you know, we just might not get anything until then. However, if you're a Pokemon fan, this isn't it. Uh, Pokemon Company's already been teasing the 25th anniversary. This is obviously one of the first major news drops for the 25th anniversary. I clearly think there's still going to be a Pokemon Direct next month unveiling new games. Uh, and there's going to be more and more. There's still Pokemon Day coming up. So we're going to get more Pokemon-related announcements. And maybe that's what Nintendo is going to let uh, the Switch kind of rest on here for the spring is Pokemon, Pokemon, and more Pokemon. Oh, and by the way, here's some Monster Hunter. I would love to see things like the, the Switch Pro announced. I would love to see things like the Zelda 25th Anniversary acknowledged bare minimum, even if they're not going to do anything for it, which I think would be a mistake. I think they could see clearly the massive success the 35th Anniversary of Mario is. Well, the 35th anniversary of Zelda, the game that kicked off the Switch generation, celebrating that is clearly going to be a big deal uh, if they do it. Again, we're presuming they will, but we don't actually know. Uh, there hasn't even been a hint. Uh, then again, there really wasn't a hint for Mario either. In fact, a lot of people were worried because we had no announcements from Nintendo that we weren't going to get anything. There were some rumors floating out there, but uh, not really anything concrete. And then, bam, here's 35th anniversary of Mario. So that could be what they do for Zelda. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Summer hits, bam, 35th anniversary of Zelda, even though technically it happened on February 21st. At least put a tweet out that day and be like, hey, today's the 35th anniversary of Zelda. They probably won't, especially if they have plans to celebrate it later. Uh, and that, that, that anniversary date is specific to Japan. There's later dates for uh, other countries. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about Pokemon Snap down in the comments below. Did you play Pokemon Snap back in the day? Or if you're younger and obviously didn't, you know, like me, grow up with a SNES and an N64 and grow up during that era, have you gone back to play Pokemon Snap? Or... Is New Pokemon Snap your first experience with Pokemon Snap at all? And does what you see in that video clip, do, is what you saw in the screenshots, appealing to you? I'm very curious to know what is the appeal of New Pokemon Snap to current gamers that did not play the original. Because for people like me, there's going to be nostalgia involved with this game. I will try to judge it for what it is, and I'm going to try not to overreact and act like you know it's the greatest thing since sliced bread just because of my nostalgia but i do want to look at it fairly as its own game its own 60 dollars property and kind of just give some thoughts on it and i'm i really want to know people who aren't me who haven't played it what your thoughts are on it as well all right folks i am nathaniel rumpful chance from nintendo prime i want to thank you again for tuning in and choosing to get your news right here at nintendo prime hopefully i've earned your subscription today earned your bell icon hit earned you liking and commenting on this video uh, i greatly appreciate it all of you guys are amazing and you keep helping this channel grow and build this amazing community together along with me i will catch you guys in the next video